tape this video is to show new players how to start out in a game of Risk Legacy. Uh, we're just going to be looking at the very beginning of the game and some of the main things you need to know to get a good start. So, first thing you'll see is in the bottom left corner on your map here, the starting uh, game base pings. These just indicate where your cities are, uh, so you know your, where your options are to start out. Um, now, one of the most important things at the beginning is to ensure that you take one full country on your first turn. Uh, the reason for this is you only get the extra income when you take a full country, and the income is indicated by the number in the middle here, so Bosnia would give you two. Uh, so, when you begin, you'll generally just look for a two-city country where you own one of the cities, as this is the easiest way to start out. And you do that just by spawning your first four marines and attacking the other city. Uh, four marines is more than enough to take one city, so you should have no problem if you go for that option. Uh, however, um, if you want to get a better start uh, in the game, you, there's a couple of things you need to know to be able to take more than one city. Uh, the first thing is probably pretty obvious, but quite important, and that is pulling back your injured marine when you attack the enemy city so you don't lose any. So um, again, uh, we've got our four marines that we start with here. We'll attack this city. And what we want to do is pull back that first marine that takes the initial damage from the enemy city and marine, then send him back in as soon as he's out of range. Uh, this causes the enemy course to target your other units and allows you to ensure you don't lose any. Uh, now, the other important thing that you'll need to know is the defender swap. Uh, basically, this is an option on your, all your cities where you can swap the uh, unit in the base with one of your other units. So, for example, um, up here we've got an injured marine outside and a healthy marine in our city. And if we want to swap them around, we just click on the city, click D, and select the marine. Swaps them over. The reason this is very important is, for example, if we wanted to take central Algeria on our first turn, we would need to capture two cities, so we would do that by spawning our four marines and using the two things from earlier. So you attack the first city, you'll pull back your injured marine just before he dies, send him back in again. Then what you want to do is quickly rush over to the other city. On the way, you're going to swap your injured marine with the healthy marine. Uh, in this case, we're going to dip south slightly when we attack, just so we don't take too much damage from the city while we're moving in. Again, micro back our injured marine, send it back in. Oh, didn't quite save that one. And we should just have enough there to take him. There we go. Cool, and that allowed us to get uh, three income on our first turn, instead of the two that we got over here. Right, we're now in a replay from a real game of Risk Legacy. I'm just going to show you the first couple of turns and we'll see how expanding works in a real game. In this game I'm green, you'll see the pings there in the bottom left corner showing where my bases are. There's two things I want to talk about before we start. Uh, the first one is cards. For every enemy city you take, you get one card. And you'll see the cards indicator up here in the top right corner that shows how many you have. Once you get three, uh, your cards button next to the map here down in the bottom left will flash golden, and when you click it, you'll be rewarded with five resource. It's quite important at the start of the game, which means every three cities you take, you get five extra income that you can spend on marines at the beginning. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was where to start. Basically, you want to choose a place where there's a bunch of cities packed together, and ideally a bunch of small countries, so that you can expand quite easily in those first couple of turns. The most obvious place would be here in the centre of the map in the Balkans, as there's a bunch of countries quite small all packed together. Uh, the other place is up here, more in the central Europe. Uh, down here in the bottom left in Africa is also quite a good place to start. Uh, in the bottom right, in the Middle East, again, a few small countries here. And probably finally in the Balkans up here, you've got uh, four of these little two-income countries that you can begin with. Right, so we'll start the replay. You see I'm starting here in Serbia, making my four Marines. And we'll be pulling the injured one back to save him, send him back into attack. 
and then taking them down south to grab this other city before the end of the turn. I did my marine swap there, get the injured one out. Now you can see that another player has started up here to the north. If you're a new player, you'll always want to piece enemies that start nearby you at the beginning of the game. Uh, if you're more experienced, you can try and take them out and still expand quickly. Um, as the next turn rolls over, uh, the next most important thing is to ensure that you take as many whole countries as you can by the end of each turn. So you can see here I'm taking Bosnia, while at the same time sending some marines down south to take Macedonia. And I'll also be trying to get Albania by the end of this next turn as well. Three countries, not too bad on that second turn. So there we go, getting those final cities. Um, you can see the cards button just flashed up there for a moment, which I clicked in the game. That gave me five extra resource, gave me the five extra marines to take Albania. I'm now heading down south into Greece to start the um, conquest of this country uh, before the next turn ends, so that by the end of the third turn, I'll have that whole country as well. Um, at the same time, I'm moving east to take Romania and Bulgaria Again, trying to get all three of these countries by the end of the turn so that you get the payoff of that extra income. If we switch to another player here, we can see in the top right corner, um, already on 13 income, which is quite good for the second turn. And with that quick expansion into all these countries here, we should be right on top at the end of the third turn. Um, and that will allow you to expand uh, pretty much in any direction you want from that point. Uh, so, expanding quickly does take a wee bit of practice, but as long as you remember those basic things, uh, not losing a first marine on the first city you take, or not, sorry, not losing a marine when you take that first city, uh, doing the defender swap so you can take a second city on your first turn, and then assuring you take as many whole countries as you can by the end of each turn. Right, so we'll just leave the video there. If you've got any feedback, leave it in the comments, and thanks for watching.